Hey, hello guys. This is Karthik from XGuruAutomation.com. This is part nine of our Coder UI video series. So in this part, we're going to talk about getting and setting a property in Coder UI testing. So this part is going to be a very small part, and I just thought of bringing this up so that it can be very helpful while working with a larger project. So we can get and set the property of a control in Coder UI testing using the get property and set property method available in Visual Studio. So these come very handy while working with a larger project. So let's flip back to Visual Studio. So this is the same project which we have been working from part three through part nine so far. So what I'm going to do right now is get a value from this particular control. So let's say, what is this control? This is uh, the button nine. So let me go to this particular control using go to definition. So you can see that it has a name as nine, right? And let's say I want to get some of the properties of this control. I'm going to get a control. So let me first verify what kind of properties it has. So for this particular control, control nine, I have different kinds of properties here. So I'm probably interested in its friendly name or if I want to verify whether it exists or not. So what is the value of this exist, right? And if it is exist, then try to click the control. Else, you just leave a message to the system saying the button does not exist, right? So I'm going to close this. So let, let's come back to the uimapper.designer.cs file. So here, I'm going to get a value or a control. So for doing this, let me first add a couple of line here. So this dot MUI item nine button dot, there's something called get property method. So using this method, we can get the value of a property. So here I can either specify this as a string or I can also specify the strongly typed value. So let's say I'm going to get the friendly name of the control. So I can just put the friendly name property right here. And then let's do a console.write line and add some of the fancy stuff right here. The friendly name of the control is all right. So I can go back here and I can add like this all right and then I can also check if the control exists or not so for that let's go back here and put it right here so I can also verify if the control exists if the control exists okay and then I can put it right here so it exists or not so I'm going to just verify that and now let's go back to the test explorer and hit this run selected test so we'll see whether this test executes or not all right it's executing and just got executed so okay the test will fail because uh, in our previous video we just changed the CSV value from 112 to 115 so let me revert it back and now if I run this selected test all right so the test got passed so if I go to the output you can see that the friendly name of the control is 9 so for this button the friendly name is 9 and it also says if the control exists so it is true so if the control exists then probably it will throw you a message saying true so we can also use this uh, uh, get properties in a lot of uh, circumstances to verify if the control exists or not so if it exists then perform the operation if it does don't perform the operation so we can do all these kinds of stuff using this uh, get property method and similarly we can use the set property method to, to set a value for a control as you do for the search properties that add right here right so that's it guys so this is a very quick demonstration of the current set properties in visual studio I thought this is very helpful while we start working with some of the larger programming stuff while working with the hand coding of Visual Studio. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Have a great day.